This is the Temper 124th Rock Crawler from Electrix RC. Four wheel drive, four link suspension, 2.4 gigahertz transmitter, and a two in one receiver ESC combo, all powered by a 4.8 volt, 150 milliamp nickel metal high drive battery. All right, let's get the body off here and have a look at what we're dealing with. What you're frequently going to be doing is taking the body off to power the unit up and to disconnect the battery to plug it into the charger. Disconnecting the battery takes a little bit of work, but I'm sure that'll loosen up with use. Once you're unplugged, the battery is held to the chassis with a small black clip. It easily comes out, just pry away from the battery. Once you have the battery out, it's a 4.8 volt, 150 milliamp, four cell nickel metal hydride pack, and we're just going to plug it into the provided USB charger, and we'll plug that into a power source. The transmitter is small, but gets the job done. Four AA batteries go into the handle, provide power, And there's a panel in the top that hinges up that hides all of the servo reversing switches, trims, dual rates, and the power switch. I find it a little bit hard to open, but I think that'll probably work itself in. My only complaint about this transmitter is because it won't stand up and the power indicator light is under a tinted cover, sometimes it's hard to see if you've left the transmitter on. So let's have a look at the suspension. Now, keep in mind that this truck is only six and a half inches long to about three and a half inches wide, so there's not a lot of weight here to make the suspension work. Steering is provided by an Electrix RC micro steering servo. Now let's take a look at this four link suspension from the bottom. Now that we've had a look underneath and see what makes us tick, we're just going to throw these four body pins back in. They're really small and I struggle with them sometimes because I've got really big fingers. I can see this getting old really quickly so I'd probably come up with some faster method to put these body pins in or I wouldn't use them at all. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the little course I set up. It was a lot of hot glue, popsicle sticks, yarn, you know, that kind of thing. I think this is the perfect little indoor desktop crawler to have a great time when it's raining outside.